Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. It is just some days after Kolaoli Ajemi celebrated his birthday. And today the family celebrates again as the Yoruba actor Kolaoli Ajemi spent millions of naira to acquire an SUV still in celebration of his 40-told birthday. 11 months ago, his wife Tony acquired Mercedes G-Wagon SUV. The Mercedes-Benz G-Class is a favorite among Nigerian celebrities. And the news of the acquisition of that car was shared by a fellow colleague and friend in the movie industry, Nkechi Blessing Sunday. The AJMEs usually do not announce the acquisition on social media platforms. It was also two years ago when Tony Abraham celebrated a birthday that family moved to their home in Lekki, part of Lagos State, which is an hybrid area. And this year, as Kola Oli AJMI celebrated his birthday, they also acquired a new ride, the Lexus SUV. And it was also friends of the family who shared this on official social media platforms. People like Itela, the icon, a popular Yoruba actor, movie director, and a producer. He also shared a photo of this new ride. So congratulations to Kola Oli AJMI on this new SUV. For the house and cars of Tony Abraham, and her husband, Kolo Olia Jamie, please stay with us. Over the years, Tony Abraham and her husband have done quite well for themselves. And they have two houses, one house in Ibadan and the other one in Lagos State. The one in Lagos State is in the Harbour area in Lagos and Lekki. In 2019, this was when Tony joined the League of Mercedes-Benz owners in Nigeria. So as her husband, Kolo Olia Jamie, who shared the short clip of this new wheel and it showed to him beaming with excitement as she was behind the wheels of her new white Benz test driving it. That was the very first time Tony and her husband would share any of the acquisition. The second time was when Tony acquired a Mercedes G Wagon SUV. This was 11 months ago and the news of the acquisition was shared on Instagram by a fellow movie star Inkechi Blessing Sunday. Inkechi congratulated Tony Hebram while sharing a clip of this luxury ride. The third acquisition of this family, the new ride, that was just bought by Kola Olia Jamie, the news was shared by Itele and some of their other friends who shared the lovely photo of this new ride. Whilst congratulating their colleague and friend Kola Olia Jamie. So these are the house and guys of Tony Hebram and her husband Kola Olia Jamie. If you want to know more about this family, as you see some parts of their house and their cars, please stay with us. So, Abraham says that Kola Oli Uluwa Shegun Ajiyemi was born and raised in Obomo, a short part of your state, where he had both his primary and secondary school education. It has been reported that his father is a popular musician called Ajiyemi. He said that acting in the 90s under the two leaders of Rachel Yubakters, he said that he was born and raised in Since then, he has gone ahead to fully establish himself in the movie industry. Is an actor, movie producer, and a director. Some of the movies he has worked on over the years include Buga, Shota Lapata, Ijod Boy, you will see Ibigida, Sunday, that Burujo Kinjo, Ekonsumi, Sumi Bayo, Ifeni, Okola, Pastor Iroku, Irukunla, Kokoro, Omaya, Son, Otamokola, Ejayimanje, Alabeu, Benisiri, Ojumamola, Ekumero, Irilowo, Onomea Ganga. Um, or my Yeniwa, just to mention a few of them. Back to the nickname Awilo, because of the rugged rules of plays in movies. Then since then he has come out to say that he's a different person off screen and does not in any way be able that the characters are plays in movies. He's happily married to the Uba actress, Tony Hebram, and they got married in July 2019. They welcomed their son, Ibilua, in August 2019. Together, these two have two kids, including the teenage daughter of Kola Olia Jeremy, her name is the Mutoba Jeremy. The Mutoba Jeremy is the daughter of Kola from a previous relationship. It has been reported that he was a single father before he finally tied the match with Tony Abraham. Aside from acting, Kola is a businessman. He's the founder of a film school called Ajiomaji School of Performing Arts located in Abrokota, part of Ogun State. He's also the CEO of Kola Wale Clothes, a fashion company specialized in making it wears and shoes. And apart from this, he also mentioned just some days ago that he has a large farm, so he's doing quite well for himself. For his net worth, he has an estimated to be worth about the sum of $350,000. For his wife, Tony Bram, Tony Bram is a star Yoruba actress, movie producer, and director who has been active in the industry since the year 2003. Full name is Oluwa Tony Abraham Ajiyem. She was formerly known as Oluto Emaku before she changed her name in the year 2016 to Tony Abraham, and this was when she also rebranded. Some of her movies over the years include 
Faith of Alakada, they are fin, small chops, elevator baby, those get mad, get even. Made in heaven, two weeks in Lagos, the millions, cast and over. Link Lagosians, Nimbi, diamonds in the sky, the ghost and its house, seven and a half dates. These guys, what just happened? Alakada, you did. They saw it, Hakun, they mentioned it, tattoo, London fever, Rise and Strike Revolution, celebrating marriage, or couple is love. What makes you think? Loves in the hair, Halani Babalabake, Hebimini, Alakada, Shalafi Pami, and Shadow Parties, just to mention a few of them. So, Abraham joined the movie industry as a coincidence. She was on a movie set at Ibadan where she had gone to help them. This was when Bookie Wright was shooting one of our movies, Rube Rubembo, at Ibadan. And whilst they were shooting this movie, one of the actors did not show up that day, and Jane was asked to fill in. This was how her journey started in the movie industry. Since then, she has continued to feature on the best in all movies and also ventured into movie production. Generally, she is known for her comic movies and films, especially with her self produced Blockbuster movie, a like I did. She is also an entrepreneur who ventured into the sales of herbal products for women with infertility issues. So, Abraham was born in a dose state, but then she spent most of her early life in Ibadan, in New York State, and she started her school at a dose state at Obakezo Nodra Primary School in Benin. Later on, her father retired and said, Later on, her father retired and then half her moved to Ibadan, where she spent most of her early life. In Ibadan, she started from Queen Star School, then St. Anne School. Just after she proceeded to Europe Polytechnic in Oshu State for a national diploma in business studies, she also attended Olabisi Onobaja University, where she backed a degree in philosophy before returning to Europe Polytechnic for an HMD in marketing. Only even though she started acting in 2003, didn't take her career professionally until 2004 and 2005. Her motivation came from Bookie Wright. Subsequently, after featuring Bookie's movie, she began to start in other films until she rose to stardom. And as she grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced, Ala Jota, she also applied to produce Ala Jota with the Dead. Today, Tony is one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry. And according to her, Stan McCaffrey's law, her working with the movie director Mondo Ibuli was highly instrumental to her brand. She's not relenting, she has a consistent to making a name for herself. She's a multiple award winning actress. And she has numerous awards and nominations. She's also among the top 100 most influential personalities in the country. So, this is a little bit about this couple to Hebron and Kola Olia. So, we have come to the end of this episode. Etu Hebron's husband spent millions of naira as he gives himself a new SUV for his 43rd birthday. Congratulations. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know two new things, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for our daily content.